Welcome aboard this morning. I'm really glad you joined us. Hey, we're making an Arizona pork loin this morning. You know what else we're going to do? We got some pit beans too. We're going to put some of that pork loin in them beans. But I tell you what, the thing that makes this an Arizona pork loin, well, we got some of the best flavors coming at you from down there in Arizona. We call it a one-two punch. Stay tuned. So what I've got right here is I've got my buddy Mike from down at uh, Black River Barbecue. He sent me some Hog Island Rib Rub. Amazing stuff, I'm telling you what. And then here's another one of my favorites. This is my brother Aaron Voigt down there from uh, Voigt Metal. He has uh, Mr. Voigt's Pork Party. Now on a pork loin, I like to get the silver skin off of this thing and any kind of, sometimes you'll wind up with some bone shards or something that might be stuck in there, like there's something from the bandsaw maybe. So we're gonna go through here and we're just gonna kind of trim this up a little bit, get rid of the silver skin. So I'm pretty happy with that side right there. I'm just gonna flip this over. These things are super easy to trim. Now we got this huge fat cap here and when you're cooking like we are, we're gonna cook this up to like 140. This thing really doesn't render that much. So I'm gonna trim it down some because we're not gonna render any of this. And there happens to be a pretty good layer of silver skin right underneath of this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that right there. We're gonna go ahead and rub it down. Okay guys, we're putting our first layer on which is uh, Black River Barbecue Hog Island Rib Rub. On the Mr. Voigt's Pork Party Rub, if you look down in that bag there, I don't know if you can see it, but he has got some of the most amazing spices and, and just like coarse grain stuff going on here. Look at the sugar coming out of there and the rosemary and all them other cool things, of coarse salt, you know, but you can just smell the sweet coming out here, cinnamon, all kinds of cool stuff happening in there. Okay, now here's the other side. We're gonna go ahead and rub it down. And I gotta leave room on here for something special that's coming up. All right, guys, let's put these beans on the pit. There's that pan of beans, boy. Look at that. All right, we're setting that over here towards the firebox for now. Okay, guys, we're gonna glaze this thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do half one flavor and half the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in a pan here real quick. <clears throat> Cause we don't wanna lose any more of that, that moisture than we have to. Let's check it out, see what we look like here. Oh. We're gonna put that back in our pan this apple habanero on the small one. We're just gonna give her a good old S stripe there. Once it's this pineapple, look at that. All right, guys, real quick, we gotta put the uh, our pork in the skillet of beans. Look at them beans that's skinning up like that. Heck yeah, that's what we're looking for now. Just like that. Just gonna stick him up in there. We're gonna stir that in. Along with that juice that's in the pork. Look how juicy that is right there. Shoot, I just eat that just like it sits. Yeah. Them beans is almost done. Get that pork mixed in. Now we got our pork loin here. We're gonna let that sauce set. Get some smoke in it. We'll be right back. All 
All right, guys, we're gonna pull this over here. Watch this. Look at that. That glaze is setting up. We got a stir the beans. I'm gonna go ahead and carry them on in. There's a hole in my glove. Get out of there. <laughs> I like to slice it pretty thin. That's like the glorious part. Look at that smoke ring as it comes off. I'm gonna get in there about five or six slices and then we're gonna pull one up. It's really nice if you got like a one of them machine slicers. Those are awesome. It'll, it'll help uh, keep those slices consistent. But just look at that, how it it's just so tender. I mean, goodness gracious, that smoke ring on there. All right, guys, let's cut this thing up, huh? So we're gonna, I'm always tempted to just cut it in half and get right down to the juicy, awesome part. Let's see if I can get this up in here for you guys. Look at that. Did you put fennel seeds in this? No. <laughs> I think you did. I did not. So look, right there at the end of my finger, that appears to be a fennel seed. A fennel. <laughs> it's a I'm rosemary. Saying, it's a rosemary. This is why mom doesn't love Frank anymore. That, right, look at that. Here we go. So gun, if you had some homemade like Amish bread or something, my goodness, somebody stop me. Them little shave them little pieces off. Look at that. Ray Tom. Goodness gracious, look at that. I don't want that one. <laughs> Which one do you want? I don't want that one. <laughs> I want this one. That little tiny guy. So you could make a bean roll up. You could put a little beans in there and roll that up. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You better put two or three beans. One's not enough. I'm going in for more, look here. We're gonna make us a pork roll up with the beans in it there. Uh, Ain't stop, nobody stop, ever done that. Stop, stop, you gotta get a chunk of pork in there. I got pork on the outside of it. Here we go, down the hatch. <laughs> Taco Bell ain't got nothing on us for bean burritos. Mm. 